Solving Absolute Value Equations, The Alternate Universe, Part 2. In Solving Absolute Value Equations, The Alternate Universe, Part 1, we had an introduction to solving absolute value equations. We looked at the concept of an alternate universe where the equation is divided into two parts in order to have possibly two solutions. We also plotted the solutions on a number line. We examined cases where there is no solution because it's impossible for the absolute value of anything to be a negative number. We introduced the flying pig to underline the impossibility of a solution. For this video we'll do the same thing but only with problems having more complexity. Before going to the alternate universe we need to get the absolute value bracket by itself by moving out the positive 3. Using the magic bridge concept we can just move the 3 to the right side and on the right side it becomes negative 3. We combine like terms on the right so we have 9 left on the right. To the normal universe we remove the brackets and have 3x minus 6 equals 9. We add 6 to both sides. We cancel on the left. We add on the right and bring down the x term on the left. We divide both sides by 3 which is the coefficient of x and we cancel on the left. So now we have x equals 15 over 3 and that equals 5. Now we go to the alternate universe by replacing the brackets with parentheses and putting a negative sign in front. We get rid of the negative sign by dividing both sides by negative 1. We cancel on the left. Now we remove the parentheses and bring both sides down and add 6 to both sides and cancel on the left. We bring both sides down. Now we divide both sides by 3, cancel on the left, bring both sides down, x equals negative 1. We can graph the solutions with two points on the number line. Now let's solve this equation. We need to get the absolute value bracket by itself. We need to get rid of the 5 on the left side. We need to move it over to the right side. So on the right side it changes to a negative 5, so it becomes negative 1 on the right side. What does it mean if it's negative on the right side? Since it's impossible for the absolute value of anything to be a negative number, this equation has no solution. And even if we divide both sides by 2, we still have the absolute value bracket equaling negative 1 half. And to remind us, we bring back our friend to emphasize the point. Now let's look at this one. On the left, we go to our normal universe to remove the absolute value brackets. For our first step, we get rid of the 5 by dividing. So we cancel on the left. We bring down what's left, and on the right, we bring down 0 divided by 5 is 0, and we can remove the parentheses. We get rid of the negative 6 by adding 6 to both sides, and cancel on the left. We bring down what's left, that would be 2x equals 6. We finish solving by dividing both sides by 2, and cancel on the left and bring down the final result x equals 3. Now let's do the right side or alternate universe scenario by putting a negative sign in front and removing the brackets. We divide both sides by negative 5, cancel on the left side, and remove the parentheses and bring it down. Do you know something about the progress of our alternate universe side of the problem here? At this point, our alternate universe solution process is precisely the same as that of our normal universe we just solved. Therefore, we know that its solution will be x equals 3 as well. Whenever you have an absolute value expression that equals 0, you will only have one solution to an absolute value equation. So just look for that 0 on the right side. You'll just have one solution, a rare case. And this is what that solution looks like 
graft on number line. Now for this problem. Stop the video and solve the problem, then restart it when you have your answer to see if you have it right. Now I'll give you a hint. Start by subtracting 12 from both sides of the equation. The answers are x equals negative 8 and x equals negative 6. And here they are graphed on a coordinate plane. This has been Solving Absolute Value Equations, The Alternate Universe Part 2. Thanks for viewing.